<laughs> Wait, no, it's too loud. All I ever wanted was to be a beauty guru, and now I'm here, and now I don't know what to do with all this responsibility. <laughs> Hi, what's up, what's good? Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up? Home skillet biscuit. Um, you're looking at the shirt and you're like, are you ever gonna change your shirt? This is actually a different day and a different shirt. I just own a lot of clothes <laughs> that are this color, apparently. Also, I have overalls. Isn't this cute? This is adorable. It's a skirt. I don't have my candle going. Wait. My bougie, my bougie little candle. That's cute. So today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. I usually do reviews on Korean products because it's a little harder for people to see them in person, especially if you're a Western enthusiast of K-beauty, but every once in a while, I like to pop in with a review of Western brands because I buy makeup from everybody. <laughs> and also, I just really like to share when I'm excited about releases. So I asked on Twitter if you guys wanted me to review the stuff from the new Patrick Star collection with Mac, his second collaboration for the spring. And um, y'all were very, very vocal. And yes, y'all y'all want me to make the video. Before we get started, what's up? I'm Kendall, I upload three times a week. Usually it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm all types all over the place <laughs> this week, so. <laughs> so Patrick Star, I love Patrick Star. I just have always really respected him as like an artist and as a makeup artist, you know, very expressive and I, I just really dig that. And so when he came out with his first collaboration with Mac, I was like, ooh, that's so exciting. But then I saw the collection and I was like, ooh, that's nice, but I don't need any of that. The only things that I got from that collection were the Mama Star lipsticks. But when I saw the new spring collection, it was, you know, a little bit more color, a little bit more interesting, a little bit, ooh, how would I work with that type feeling? So I was really excited to get my hands on it. And more than that, I was excited to do a no PR review for you guys. So the way that the spring collection is set up is you get one of these sets or both of these sets, cause I got a problem. And each of these sets have four products and it costs $49.50 or $50. All the products are full size. There's a lipstick, a lip gloss, a cheek blush duo, and a Four shadow quad and so for $50 you did that Patrick $50 don't buy you nothing for Mac ever I remember okay this is like a little story because I ramble anyway I remember when I was like literally the only income I have is an allowance for my parents and I was saving up <laughs> to buy stuff for Mac it took me a month to get any money for Mac and I could buy like two things and it was just like nothing. And it was just so frustrating. So this in my heart is screaming, thank you. If I'm not mistaken, if these products were sold separately, it was something like 90 something dollars. So that's what I'm saying. This is a good price. So like I said before, there are two kits. First is Miso Chic. I do ASMR. Wait, no, it's too loud. Wait. First, let's talk about how cute the packaging is though. It's this cute like uh, kaleidoscope roses type situation. I'm really into everything that's kind of like floral and pink and dreamy like this. So I'm down with it. First, we have the Stay With Me eyeshadow quad. It comes with Daddy Star, which is a matte. Yes, which is a Velux Pearl or Lux Pearl, whatever kind of shimmery basically. Queen Patrick, which is a frost and Bonne. Bon nu, bon, bon do it, bon do it, man. I don't know what this is. Also note, everything is in this like really cute pink packaging. Like if for no other reason, I would have gotten it just for the sheer aesthetic of it, all the aesthetics. The next thing is a powder blush duo. This is in I'm Not Blushing. It's like a peach with like a bronzy peach. The next two are lip products. We have Sweet Mama Star. Oh yes, I got a million lipsticks that look like this, but now I have a million and one. <laughs> so this is Sweet Mama Star. I'm, of course, I'm assuming this is supposed to be a slightly verified version of Mama Star, which was in the last collection. This is Mama Star, and Mama Star is a little bit more brown and less pink. And Mama Star is also a satin, not a amplified cream. So it's a little bit less of a sheen on the original Mama Star. Why do they do this? Why do they cover up the name of the lipstick? I think it says Mama Star Kiss. Like a clearish gloss, peachy gloss. 
with like green and yellow and pink glitter. Actually it comes out looking like a little bit more light pink base, but still relatively clear. But that's the first one. And the second set is Miso Fleek. Again, this set has four products just like the last one, but, but this one is definitely the more vibrant and obnoxious one and most likely the one I will be using today. <laughs> so first we have the quad, which is Play With Me. Oh, 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 oh yes. I think I felt a tickle, okay. This is Living in Pink, which is a frost, all rosy, matte, hickey, frost, and in the shadows. Oh yes, blue. Okay, blue. Second powder blush duo, this is in Take Me Home. Definitely prefer the tone of this blush to the other one. The lipstick with this one is Hey Boy Hey, which is a retro matte. Ooh, ooh, okay. That retro matte formula. It's like a dark purple fuchsia. Never a color that I would think to get. <laughs> I always just end up with colors like this, but yeah, it's pretty. And then the gloss is Queen P. Ooh. That's really pretty. Pink base with pink glitter and purple glitter. Ooh, look at that shine. Again, another color that I would never think to buy that I just end up with. <laughs> it's time for the demo part of this. And to be honest with you, as always, when I do live applications, I very rarely plan anything out. And so you're gonna see this mess of a process that is my artistic development. I'm an art prodigy. Okay, big ups to the people that know what that's from. Hey, real close again. I always feel so close to you. Do I have something in my teeth? So there's so many directions we could take today. I don't know what direction I'm going to take, but there's a lot of directions. The only thing that I am sure of is that I want to use this quad, the one with the purple, no, the one with the, the play with me one. The base that I'm going to go with has a weave hair stuck in it. That's cute. So the base I'm going to use is my Chica y Chico concealer. This is in light beige. I want a very, very light base so I can use these bright colors. Ooh, one qualm I have with these palettes, and I get why they're like this, just, you know, for aesthetic reasons, is that they don't have a mirror. I, I assume that the reason they don't have a mirror is for this, like, design that's on the front, and then you can see the gold and the shadow, and it looks really cute or whatever, but, like, practicality-wise, I need a mirror. I, I hate when quads don't have mirrors. Ooh, I look like early YouTube. Ooh, who's been around for a real long time with Beauty Gurus? Like, 2008, when the highlighter was just, like, Giving me that panacea. <laughs> That's a very obscure reference. Oh my god. <laughs> so, decisions that we'll have to make on this day before y'all. A man say a prayer. Uh, I'm gonna take this like dusty purple that matches my overalls into my crease area. As always, I like to bring my colors, like my crease colors in particular, all the way into my uh, nose area and up into my brow. I don't know. I just think it gives, I just think this is, what is this my English recently? It's like, God, I just think it gives like a interesting, like you don't know what's interesting about it. You just know something looks cool. And I'll go like all up in my eyebrow too especially because this color isn't super obnoxious. For reference, the shadows are a wee bit powdery, um, but nothing that I haven't seen before, nothing crazy. As I'm blending this out, or it could be because the base is so light, it's actually giving me a little bit of a gray undertone, which I don't mind. I actually think it's kind of cool. It will blend in really well with everything else. Oh wow, okay, I didn't realize this, but I guess I'll be using more colors from this quad than I expected. So let's go into this like muted purple and use that around the edges of the last purple to make sure everything is like blending really, really nicely. Okay, I'm running into an issue with like, I don't know what to do. And that very rarely happens when I even see like kind of strange eyeshadow. Like if I only stuck to this, I feel like I could only make like a few looks. I feel like these shadows are very cohesive in the first squad, but these are so not. And because of that, or they are, but it's like, I have no idea how to use this palette without this palette as well, if you're getting my drift. If you're like me and plans to buy both of them anyway, it doesn't really matter. But if you're gonna pick one or the other, I can see how that would be an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna take the blue Wow, that's whoa. <laughs> okay, 
sorry, I just need a moment. Wasn't expecting the shadow to be so rude. I just came to talk. I thought we could be friends, you know, and everything. And I just feel like I just was attacked and I didn't ask for, oh, wait, there you go. It's on my eye. <laughs> That's the bare minimum. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take this like shimmery purple. And you know, people always say, you know, don't put shimmery colors in the crease. Well, I didn't ask you. So, you don't put, sh you don't put shimmery colors in the crease, man. Okay, sneeze. <laughs> I'm gonna take the pink now and use that mostly on this like inner corner area and then bring it into the crease as well i kind of call that like a watercolor blend i don't know if i made this up i don't know i just i just play around with stuff i just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks but it's like color like blends around i'm trying to be i'm trying to be cool all I ever wanted was to be a beauty guru and now I'm here and now I don't know what to do with all this responsibility. <laughs> also, I notice when I do this that it's easier to do it if I'm like blending shimmery colors or like textures into each other. To bring like a little bit more volume to the eye, I like to take a shimmery color like this and put that in like the crease area. It just like shimmers over that. That's more of a, that's a very Korean style thing though, to have like this like glittery topper, even. Ooh, let me be careful though. I was gonna take that same color and put it in my inner corner. Gonna need a little bit more depth, so I'm gonna take this matte dark purple and put that in the outer corner to sort of anchor everything. Under the eye, I'm gonna take the matte mauve color taking the shimmery dark purple from this one something tells me you couldn't see any of that i'm gonna go in with a pen liner because i haven't used a pen liner in a minute this is the misha natural fix brush pen liner Overall, the issue I'm running into right now is that I feel like none of the colors are exceptionally light enough to do like a powerful highlight. That's an issue I'm running into right now. Um, granted, they were working with four colors, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go in there and do do some brightening with something. I'm gonna use this highlight from Wet and Wild. This is in Precious Petals. It's in that pinky family, but just brighter. Yeah, I wasn't getting enough contrast just because I can and I have white eyeliner in my hand and I want to put it somewhere. What was that? Water. Did you hear that? Jesus, I believe Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior. Thank you for all your mercy and I repent of all my sins. Hey Amen. I think I'm gonna just do accent dots on top of my black liner. So for liner on my waterline, I'm using the Secret Heat Twinkle Waterproof Gel Liner Pencil. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera to put some lashes on and I'll be right back. Okie dokie. This is my eyes. Is it the best work I've ever done? No. Is it the worst? No. The application was really nice and easy, blended really well. Um, just the only issue is I feel like because, you know, it's in quads, it's hard to find colors that really range the gamut, you know, very, very light to very, very dark. And because of that, I found that I had to add in a few more colors, well, just one color to give me that contrast I was looking for. But I feel like we got there. We got somewhere that's really, really pretty. So definitely going to use this one. This is the Take Me Home duo. I don't know what color to use, so I'm just going to mix them. I want to do like the cute across the nose type situation, so we're going to do that. It's more pigmented than I thought it would be. Okay. I'm going to take the darker color in particular and put that under my nose. I think I'm going to put some of the lighter color on my cube as well. I don't know why, but my, 
my body's telling me do that. So I'm gonna use the highlighter that I use for my inner corner and put that in my highlighty points. Now it's time for lip swatchy little lip swatch video inside bonus video. Okay, hey boy, hey, because I know I'm not wearing this one today, <laughs> but I just want you to kind of see how it looks on the lips, or at least on me. Okay, um, is it me or is it making my teeth look mad yellow? I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a brush to gently feather out the edges because it's looking a little harsh to me. I wasn't expecting to like it. It comes off a lot more pink than I was expecting. I thought it would be a little bit more purpley. No, I like it. It's a little, it's a little 80s, like all together, but I think it's cute. Okay, that's the combination with Queen P and Boy, Hey Boy Hey. It's really pretty. Don't really like it with this situation, or do I? I never wear colors like this, ever. I'm pretty basic when it comes to lip colors. I'm more of an eye person, but oh, it's kind of cool. It's pretty. My outfit's in the 90s, my face in the 80s, my hair in the 70s. It's too much. It's a, it's a lot going on. I did want to try the lip gloss by itself to see how much pigment I can get off of just that. Oh, that has a lot of pigment just by itself. Wow. Ooh, that's really pretty. I actually kind of like that better by itself. So much dimension. It's so pretty. I still think it's a lot going on though right now, so. <laughs> okay, let's do it in the opposite direction than we did last time because I feel like it would be easier. Mama Star Kiss. Ooh, definitely more of a lip topper than a like standalone lip gloss. I've never really liked like glosses like this by themselves. I feel like it brings out texture in my lips that I didn't even think was there before. Matte glosses aren't particularly sticky. They're, they have a nice texture. It is pretty. Um, just something that I personally wouldn't wear by itself. Peace de resistance, the color that I know I'm going to wear today. Mama star, sweet mama star. Okay, it's pulling a little lighter than I thought it would be. <laughs> All right, ma 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 ma. We're gonna need to blend these edges and or put a liner, but that's cool. Here's how she's looking without a liner. Not liking this as much as I thought I would. Interesting. I'm gonna go in with Mahogany Lip Liner from MAC since we're doing MAC today. My lips looking beat. <laughs> and since we're here, I really like to pile up the gloss on the Cupid's bow. Yes. Ooh. So here we are, this is the finished look. I, I feel like I need to have like flowers in my hair. That's the one thing that's kind of missing. One with the wind kind of feel right now. SZA laying on the beach, you know? So here are my final thoughts on the collection. I like it. Everything is of quality. Some of the concerns that I had is that because the price was significantly lower than it would have been if they were purchased separately, would there be a lot of, you know, quality issues? <laughs> Particularly with the eyeshadows, the, they were fine. They were as good as other MAC eyeshadows that I've tried in the past. Blendable, not blotchy. The lipsticks are really, really nice and smooth and just the texture that I expect from MAC lipsticks. The only kind of issue that I've had with anything in this particular collection is the usability of the eyeshadows by themselves. I feel like the collection with the brighter palette is more unique but less usable. But if you were going to pick one or the other and you wanted to use it on a regular basis and you didn't want to have to find a whole lot of other eyeshadows, lipsticks, blushes, blah, 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 um, definitely would stick with Miso Chic one because it has the Mama Star lipstick, which is really flattering overall. And the Stay With Me eyeshadow palette is more usable just by itself. I feel like it's the more natural of the two and the more useful, usable of the two. Um, if you can afford to get both, I would get both just because I feel like they work really well with each other. Yeah, good mixture of textures, good varieties of colors that can fit on a whole lot of skin tones. So that's my entire rundown. These are my thoughts. If you've purchased anything from the Patrick Star Collection, please let me know. Maybe we can have a little discussion in the comment section. Subscribe, hit the notification button as well so that you can see all future uploads. Follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram, both of which are Kenny JD, and I'll see you guys next time.